In this problem, we're told a rock is dropped from a vertical cliff and takes three seconds to reach the ground below the cliff. A second rock is thrown vertically from the cliff and it takes two seconds to reach the ground below the cliff from the time it is released. With what velocity was the second rock thrown? Right, so we have two rocks. This is going to be rock one. This is rock two. Right, so for this one, we're just dropping it, meaning the initial velocity is going to be zero and then it's going to fall and hit the ground in three seconds. For the second one, right, we're going to throw it and it's going to take two seconds for it to hit the ground. And so what we're trying to do is find the speed at which this one was thrown. Right, so how do we want to do this? So the way I approach this problem, right, so I always like to write the given. And so what I'm going to do is write the given for this second, uh, this one right here. So keep in mind, this is the given for rock two. So what do we know about this interval? So we're going to use kinematics, right? So we want to find three kinematic variables that we can use to solve for the fourth. Right, so one of them is going to be two seconds, so the time it takes. Uh, the other one we're going to, uh, for these problems, we're just given, right? So the acceleration is minus 9.8. Uh, meters per second squared, right? This is just something we assume for free fall problems like this, right? The acceleration due to gravity, so minus 9.8. And then we need one other variable, right? So uh, we don't know the final velocity. We're not going to be able to find that. So what we want to do is find the distance delta x or delta y, sorry, because we're in the y, that this thing travels. So what we want to do is find that. So how far is this thing going to fall, right? Basically, we want to find that, and then we're going to be able to solve for v because that's this, the remaining variable. Right, but we want to find delta y, but we can't do it with this problem. And the way we're going to do that is by using this one. So if we write down the given for this one, right, given, and so what are we told in this one? So we're given the time this one takes, three seconds, right? We're also given the initial velocity, right, zero meters per second. And then we also, the acceleration is also 9.8 or minus 9.8. So for this one, we actually do have three variables, right? So we can do, what we can go ahead and do is solve for the delta y or the change in the y. Right, so that's how we're going to be able to, uh, be able to do it because the cliffs are the exact same, right? So these cliffs are the same height. So if we can find the length or the distance right here, what we can do is plug it in here and solve for the velocity. So we want to solve for delta y for this one, right? So if we look at our kinematic equations, uh, we're given t, v sub zero, and a, and we're trying to find delta y. And so notice these are in delta x, but you can just imagine them as delta y. It doesn't make a difference. And if you look at the equation we want to use, uh, notice this one has contains all the variables we have, right? We have v sub zero t and then a so we're going to use this one so we know delta y equals v sub zero times t plus one half a t squared so all we got to do is just plug in the variables so v sub zero is zero times t right which is three zero times three is still zero so it's just one half times a which is minus 9.8 multiplied by t squared so t is just three so three squared so plugging this in you're going to get 0.5 right one half is 0.5 times minus 9.8 and then multiply by 3 squared and when you do that you'll get delta y equals minus 44.1 right so keep in mind this is basically the height of the cliff right the change in y right it goes from here to here so the change in y is minus 44.1 meters so it's just the height of this cliff right so now we know delta y right so we can plug it in here so minus 44 0.1 meters because they're the same cliff so they have the same change in y these are changing uh, for it to hit the ground it's going the same height now what we're going to do is go ahead and solve for the second one right so we have t right two seconds we have a now right and what we got was from this last part we have the change in y and so what we can do is go ahead and solve for the initial velocity and so right this is supposed to be v sub zero right because it's going to be the initial velocity right and so what we want to do is go ahead and solve for this so if we look at our kinematic equations right notice we're given t we're given a and we're given delta y so the equation we're going to use is this one right here. So keep in mind, it says delta x. You can just imagine it's delta y. But we know delta y equals v sub 0 times t plus 1 half a t squared. So what we want to do is solve for uh, v sub 0. And all we have to do is plug in these numbers. So minus 44.1 equals v sub 0 times t, which is just 2 plus 1 half times a, which is minus 9.8. And then multiply by t squared by 2 squared. And so if you plug this in and solve, minus 44.1 equals, this is two times V sub zero. And then this right here is gonna become minus, uh, minus 19.6. So minus 19.6, I'm gonna add it to both sides. So minus 44.1 plus 19.6 is minus 24.5, which equals two times V sub zero divided by two, right? And when you do this, you'll get V sub zero is equal to minus 12.25 uh, meters per second. So you can round. So this is just minus 12.3 meters per second. And so 
if we look at our answer choices right here, right? So notice D and E are 12.3, right? So basically our answer, but one's downwards, one upward. So basically what the minus sign signifies is that we're going down. So if it was positive, that means we're going up. If it was negative, it means we're going down. So if we look at our choices, we have downward and upward, it's gonna be down, right? Because we got a negative uh, velocity, right? So the negative velocity indicates downwards. So basically your answer to this problem is gonna be D, right? So D is gonna be your answer, 12.3 meters per second downward. But yeah, so this is gonna be your answer and hopefully you found this useful.